Hi, everybody. Welcome. This is a weekly challenge number 91, simulating nature sounds. I'm going to basically choose a nature sound scape, basically, as if you were sitting somewhere anyway, and try to replicate it ish. And I'm going to do it using only synths. Other people could do it, who are, other people who are participating in this challenge could do it using synths or actual instruments. But no recordings, no recordings of things, of course, which is all about simulating, not using actual recordings of nature. And uh, trying not to use like obvious things such as, you know, instruments that are made to replicate bird sounds or a rain stick or whatever, you know, trying to actually simulate it using something else. So, yep, yeah, that's the challenge. And if you want to participate in these challenges, you can. It's in the Discord. The Discord is a community called Sonic Sorcery, and you can find a link to that in the description of this video. And there's a bunch of very cool people that frequent that place. Some of those cool people are here today, and they're, they've perhaps participated in the challenge, which means that at the end of my little thing here, uh, we're going to listen to them and what they've done for this same prompt, basically. So I'll just say hello to everybody in the chat and then I'll get to it. Hello to DJ Perfunctory, M. Alexander, Von Sunta, Chris Cummins, Metal Puppet, David, Bob, Megan, aka Baby, and that's it. Welcome everybody. Nice to see you. Oh, Chris Al. Hey, Chris. Uh, okay, so this is going to be this is going to be something. Um, my intention is to try to give, or try to recreate, let's say, what we hear around here where we live, uh, which is in the Pacific Northwest of Canada, or I should say the Southwest of Canada, the Pacific Northwest, as they call it in America, um, of BC. So some birds, some wind, some trees knocking together, some frogs, perhaps, I don't know if I'm going to get through any of that. The last time I tried to do anything similar to this with a synth making these kinds of sounds was um, years ago, years ago. And I did work as a sound designer for some time and working with uh, software synths in a professional capacity. And so hopefully that experience will help me here a little bit. But honestly, I feel like I've forgotten a lot about how I achieved those effects. effects. So... I don't know. We're going to see. Uh, Raf says, hey, Raf, I love nature and hate music. So I'm very excited to hear one submissions. Yeah, I feel the same. I absolutely feel the same. Uh, okay, so. Oof, man, it's going to be interesting. I'm going to be using Serum for this probably exclusively, if not primarily, uh, just because that's what I know the best. Now then. David says, I kind of stretched the natural sound and made the sound from the interior of a spaceship. Okay, well, just so you know, if you go back and read the prompt, it says, on Earth. I also considered doing some kind of space sound, and then I went back and read my prompt, and I was like, oh, I can't do that. So, you know, I guess we could say the spaceship was docked on Earth. However, it's, it's also uh, in no way a nature soundscape, but acceptable. Um, hey, Maddie. All right, so let's begin simply with some light wind through the trees. So I don't know if I mentioned it in the thing or not. Are we, are we I'm going to ask you, the public here, are we allowed to use uh, wind? Uh, wind. Are we allowed to use wind in this? Are we allowed to use noise? Did you use noise? That's what I want to know. Did you use like white noise and stuff in order to... Um, create some effects because in a way that's using samples using a recording but i guess okay we just got to do it what else am i going to do how, how else am i going to make this wind uh okay so we'll just get some like you use white noise yeah we'll get not a high pass version That's all right. Okay, and oh, actually, I've got a stereo. 
white noise that I made. It's pretty high pass sounding, but that's fine. You guys can hear this fine. You can hear my voice fine. That's rain. <laughs> Use white noise, yeah. All right, so we're we're agreed. You can use white noise. Um, now I'm going to try something. You, you got you're gonna have to bear with a lot of experimenting here today. Sorry about that. It's just gonna happen. All right. Um, so this is yeah. I'll set my loop up here for I don't know <laughs> four bars. What's the tempo? What's the tempo today of our nature scene? One twenty. So everybody's bobbing to. Okay, so. For now, I'm just going to put a single note in here to trigger the sound continuously. Of course, with the noise oscillator, it doesn't matter what the pitch is. Just we'll, we'll take anything and uh, and make the noise. So I'm running it through a bandpass filter, which is just allowing only certain... Oh, God. Only certain frequencies to come through. No tempo. Yeah. If only you could set it to zero. Infinity. Um, okay, so... We're just going to modulate a whole bunch of stuff in order to get this to have some more motion. So you're just going to have to listen to this for the moment. Hey, Zaibu, is this too loud? No, it doesn't look so bad. So first thing we're going to do is try to... They have these random functions in uh, Serum. I don't like them that much because they're not... I shouldn't say they're random. They're called chaos but they follow like this particular pattern. Each of them has a sort of pattern it follows and it's not really the best, but in a way it's easier than programming super complex LFO shapes that modulate each other. So I'm just gonna apply that to the cutoff and let's, <laughs> there we go, <laughs> there's the wind. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like wind to me. <laughs> that's, what, that's what it sounds like outside my house all the time. <laughs> Just walk out in the morning. Uh, <laughs> all right, we're going to send this to a reverb so that we can start to like get some, you know, zone that this is happening in. I remember uh, Ether, the reverb Ether. Do I have that? Actually had supposedly simulated... Um, nature expanses. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm pushing the wrong button. Can I not do this from here? Oh, as an insert. Oh yeah, I'm on the wrong thing. That's right. Winds in space. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, I just want to see if I do have ether still because that would be interesting just to, oh, it's here. Does it work? Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, exactly, David. I used to use this all the time. So, oh, preset undefined, is that, okay. Browser, factory, here we go. Look at this, nature, here we go. Where's the forest, they don't got it. Virgin forest, <laughs> it's a virgin forest. <clears throat> so, let's set this mix. That's a big reverb. <laughs> Not really what I was expecting. <laughs> somehow I d somehow I don't think uh, that many high frequencies stay in the air in, in nature. You don't usually hear that. You're using 2CB2. Oh, it's your go-to reverb. Interesting. Hey, beach access. <laughs> Virgin cave, maybe. Um, just Oregon in general. <laughs> Here's the ambience of Oregon. Yeah, New England, a mountainside. Okay, that makes a bit more sense. You know what, this is not, not really the vibe I'm going for. So cool as that was, it was completely not useful for the intended purpose. Uh, all right, is outside large or is, or is outside very large? These are the philosophical questions of the day. Okay, and I guess they don't have anything like that here, so we're just gonna have to have to make it ourselves. Unless they have something in very large. Eternity. Hmm. Outside is eternity. 
Uh, okay, so let's just make one. sound. It is good for testing this because it flicks around those frequencies so much. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. I need to like do with some birds probably. Anyway, let's try to start with this and now slow this chaos os oscillator down. Uh, okay. And of course, slow down the amount, or slow it down, restrict the amount that it can move massively. Still a bit high end heavy, yeah. We can do a steeper band pass. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, babbling brook, true. It's pretty like intense, high winds. So is it is that a function of volume why it sounds intense, or is it a function of frequency and persistence? Yeah, I guess we also need to to automate the volume pretty intensely too. So let's take chaos number two and put it on global amp okay so when the pitch goes up it really sounds like the uh thing is getting more intense so the wind is getting more intense, so we need to limit that a bit more. And just, yeah, let me know how the volume goes, because it's hard to know how this is going to sound coming through the stream. See, this, this chaos thing is really not moving in a way that I like. So we'll take a different approach. Instead of doing that, what you can do to get like a bunch of variety is just take one LFO and how do I set this to a preset? I can't remember how that works. Oh, it's here. Basic sign. Do I want to sign? Sure. No, no, I don't. I just want... A triangle. So this is going to be applied to the volume and we're just going to slow down and define what should be like the highest and lowest. It should go to like almost nothing probably. Pink noise instead of white, eh, maybe that's an idea but it's too late. <laughs> it's far too late for that. Okay, so now we're going to slow this way down. Yeah, for sure, David. But then we're also going to do this with a second LFO um, so that they're going to like kind of push against each other. This one will just have a different um, frequency. So... LFO2 will control global amp and it will maybe have smaller variations that kind of happen at a faster frequency and in fact 
In fact, this frequency is going to be modulated by another LFO. So LFO 3 will constantly be changing the frequency of LFO 2 a little bit. And it will be somewhat slow. So this one will sometimes move faster like that, and then slower. It perhaps gets a little bit too quiet. Sometimes that's too fast. Okay, I'm just going to kind of go with that for now and then maybe, oh, hmm. it resets every time. How annoying is that? This just needs to go forever for the moment. Yeah, LFOs are pretty useful for sure. I'm going to get rid of like a bunch of, I just want it sort of light. Yeah, maybe more like that. Though it's very, All right, and for this first one, I'm actually not going to use a triangle. I'm going to do something. You could probably put even a layer on top that's like very fast, fluttery sort of sound. I wonder if that would work. Um, or if you could do that with... <laughs> if I had a second one of these filters, you might be able to do it with that too. Hmm. Let's just try one just to see because that might be kind of nice. So if this was LFO 4... Uh, going to, yeah, amp, and if it was, like, fast, <laughs> but, like, very, very subtle, Restart is annoying. Yeah, I don't think it's necessary. Anyway, uh, having it have some motion from left to right probably would be good too. But we'll work on that more later. I want to try to like not just get super bogged down on something immediately. Okay, so then, um, then 
we'll try maybe some kind of bird. We have a lot of great birds around here. I was trying to look up some calls for them, but I don't know. I wasn't getting the best stuff, so I might just need to do it by memory. I'm going to try to do a Tauhi. And a Tauhi has this, like, screaming. I can't even really... Ish, like that. It just calls out you know, with this ascending pitch into the expanse. Uh, it's a bit scratchy. Yeah, I don't know if... Yeah. Sweetie, do you know what the actual name of it is? Like the exact one so that I can find it on that... Whatever that site is. What is it? Doesn't Cornell have some site or something about... Looking them up. Yeah, bird net sound ID. Oh, wait, maybe not. <laughs> That's an app, I see. All right, well. We saw it call out. Yeah, probably a Taui call, not a song. I'm just trying to find where's the where's the fastest place that to, to hear that. Maybe just YouTube, I guess. Um, ah, there we go. It sounds just like that. So I'm going to start by trying to make a pitch shape here. Um, don't know if I should automate it or if I should just do it myself. Ah, we'll automate it. It's kind of like exponential. Something like that. I'm probably getting it completely wrong. I need to... Uh, Spotted Tauhi sounds. Yeah, these are not quite from here, though. Closest is California. Oh, yeah, that's the other th other sound that they make. Well, that's the song, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's close to that. <laughs> so... Let's apply this to uh, LFO1 can be applied to global master tune. Yeah, their American tags sound different. I, I can't find one for a Canadian right now. <laughs> um, right, so we don't want it to loop. So it's just this. <laughs> Okay, and then, man, it would be good to be able to hear one really, really clearly. Let me just quickly search YouTube for BC Canada Tauhi call. Yeah, Utah. Nobody's just got them up on here from BC. Come on now. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty close. And they kind of go... <laughs> yeah, it goes down at the end, I see. All right, so let's try to try to make that. So... <laughs> this is going to be <laughs> very interesting. This needs to be like Washington is Tauhees, I bet. Pretty close to here. Um, so now <laughs> I'm watching it as a big, <laughs> a huge uh, picture of this super fat puffed up Tauhe. <laughs> yeah, 
These guys go down a bit, but maybe ours don't. <laughs> and sometimes they hardly... <laughs> but it's going down too fast and it's too much. Oh, this is tough. I need to like... I don't want to hear it hold at the end like that, right? So I need to... For now, just... Mm, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? This needs to be set to be like... The length... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, more like that. Sorry, but this is gonna be annoying. Um, now, how to get the grit, the grit. Maybe it's still going a bit too high. Let's see. Now, the grit, I'm thinking, might come from some sort of, like, FM or, or RM distortion, yeah. Oh, and I need to also take the attack off. We should send it out into the reverb just cuz. <laughs> That's a big forest. <laughs> All right, how about uh, AM? Like, other than getting the secondary pitch in there, it starts to get a bit of the quality. Or like that, you know? Not scratchy enough, though. It is. This does sound very cool. <laughs> I might just have to go with that because it sounds cool. How about ring modulation? Basically the same. <laughs> I could just do this all day. <laughs> she wants to hunt the bird, yeah. It's funny. So why don't we try and tie this to this? Lower, lower the quality of the oscillator, like hit crushing one of them. That's an interesting idea. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. If I, if I do it to, the, to this one, perhaps, I wonder what will happen. Yeah, that, that gets some, some grit. Found a video of Italian Squamish has a good Glock sound in the middle. Okay, good. We'll do this one first. I don't know, maybe, maybe you can. Oh, you're not, you're not a mod, so. I don't know if that's required. <laughs> it's so scratchy. And the synth is so perfect. We have to do so much to make it actually behave. Um, if we say that in this one, Chaos 1 controls global amp. I just shared. No, I can't. I can't see it. Um, maybe. Uh, I'm wondering where the best place for you to share it would be. Or if I just make you a mod, can you share? Try 
try that now? I don't know. Now, Chaos One doing the amplifier. I wanted to go like, I'm gonna ex exaggerate it right now. I want it to be very fast. See, it gets a bit of a breakup. The grit from this is not really working. Oh yeah, that worked that time, cool. 50 seconds. Oh my goodness. All right, we'll try to do that one after. Now I could try to put some noise on top, like, what do you do? It's honestly not bad. And that. If it was like really quiet that. Yeah. Hmm. There's more melodic. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I have such a defined pitch. I have to somehow like mask the pitch. Hmm. Perhaps what I should be doing is using this and then removing like Very pip squeaky sounding. <laughs> Makes me laugh every time. It's better. And then I wonder, like. Yeah, low pass filter. Let's try. Oops. Hey, Tom. At this door open listening to a thunderstorm might shape me a bird call. That's pretty funny. <laughs> So I would need this to like randomly change. Um, yeah. Like, hmm. Oh well, what I could do is say that the amount of Pitch changes dependent on a note on random. My pitch is like still so perfect. So we need to apply like a variation, almost like a fast vibrato to the pitch. So we'll say LFO3 controls global master tune. <laughs> All right, maybe we uh, apply. <laughs> I 
Oh, there is a there is some shape in here that is kind of like slight movement. Yeah, this sort of vibe. Yeah. Like if we apply this to the pitch. And make it go real fast. It's kind of there, I don't know. I need to take off a bit of this. Oh, I see, I can't. That doesn't work that way. Hmm. And then also we need to like randomize um, the hold length, envelope one hold. And then also with that same note on random two, Change the LFO one. Um, no, change the, yeah, change the LFO one rate to go faster. Keep it for now. I need to work on it some more after. I don't know if there's any effects I can put on it that would make it better, like if a distortion. It still just sounds a bit too perfect. Um, it's turning more and more into a cat. Yeah. It's not terrible, but it... It needs something. Yeah, I'll move on to other sounds. All right. You are time. Um, next sound. <laughs> I was going to try to get a frog doing its croak, not the fast one. Maybe we'll do that one too. Oh, right, we were going to do the other Tauhi sound. So the frog does this one where you go... <laughs> this is like very croaky, slow thing. I want to try to do that. But I do want to try this other Tauhi sound because it is very different. And then we can alternate them. So it... All right, so it has a very quick, um, I'm just gonna actually start a whole new one and I'm gonna try to use this one. Wait, don't do that. <laughs> Let's save before we make a mistake. This, all right, I'm gonna try to do this like, So then first we'll try to get the flickering, which I'm gonna use a sign shape for because it like kind of stays at two pitches but has some transition between them. And this will control LFO1, will control global master tune. <laughs> Sorry, this is gonna be pretty annoying. Um, and it's gonna be way faster. Yeah. 
even faster. tell what the pitches are. It could also be done with a uh, with FM. In fact let's try that quickly because that might give an even better result. If we had a second one of these mm, let's do this turn this down FM this. <laughs> it's almost kind of closer if I had a better... Oh my god. <laughs> He's internet bird. <laughs> <laughs> I love that sound. Can <laughs> you imagine a bird like that? <laughs> Alright, I think I'm going to stick with how I was doing it. So fast. <laughs> you'd, accept, you'd accept your death if you heard that in the wild. Layer the two in high pass. Hey, that's an interesting idea. That's an interesting idea indeed. Uh, but then I need to have two serums running. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get. Because he, he whips up the start. <laughs> Not quite like that. Um, and so this LFO2 can control... Hey, J can control um, this as well. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, okay. Could sit here all day and just make these sounds. So he goes like. close. Right? Like, decent? <laughs> Has a click in it somewhere that... don't know what it is. And this has got to be even faster.
Does the pitch kind of fall off? Yeah. Pitch kind of falls off over time. So if we do uh, this and <laughs> uh huh. Um, <laughs> okay, I need to think about this. Uh, this. What am I not understanding about this? Why am I programming this wrong? How do I make this? Okay, it needs to be like this. Yes, like that. And then... So... <laughs> Which, why is this, why is one of them re-triggering? Is it this one? Oh. All right. It's just a tiny, tiny bit of change. Oh yeah, it does go up at the end just a little bit. Uh, I don't think I have face plant. No. That's pretty close. I wish there was like a um, control that you could just one knob and just say uh, randomly vary everything a little bit. All right, that's that for now. I also want to do a woodpecker or depending on which call there or which what activity they're engaged in. Uh, this is Tauhi Call, Tauhi Song, this one's Tauhi Call. Squork is their song. Um, this, I think it is when I was looking it up. This is their call. I think. <laughs> uh, okay. So, frog. Frog or um, woodpecker. I have to hear the woodpecker again. I don't know exactly what pitch it would be. Now, <laughs> the frog. Uh, I don't even know how to do it, really. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Jay, I'm doing the noises that are around my house. Downy, you have to send me a, a video with the downy sound. How do you make that? I don't know, does my noise suppressor suppress my voice when I go, <laughs> Oh, an owl. We get ones that do that around here. That's a good idea, though. Should do that. These these birds wouldn't be out at the same time, though. Probably. We also got robins. There's a slight break in the fo in the frog sound. I see. All right. Well, let's just quickly see what about what a frog can do. If we what if we just like take this and pitch it like. That's one option. Second option would be put this to sine wave, set this as FM. No, oh, of course it's not. It's going to be two. Yeah, it's not going to work. What if this was square? <laughs> what if it was amplitude? That's honestly not so bad. I feel like <laughs> you're just gonna have to give me a moment here. This I cannot guarantee this is gonna work at all. But let's see. If this was controlling this, very slowly. then if this was a PWM uh, yeah <laughs> frog will take it off <laughs> yeah I mean that's not honestly too bad it be workable. <laughs> Zip, yeah. <laughs> what kind of filter do you want on this? Like a notch? <laughs> Everyone's gonna know this is a frog, right? Be croakier, yeah. Like, what is the croakiness? Does it have a pitch? Oh. <laughs> yeah, how do you? You almost need like a uh, a resonator. I know it's staggered. I'll fix that later. Just trying to get the tone. frog with improved croakiness yeah more percussive yeah 
how do you do that? How do you do that? How do you do that? Maybe you do that like this, and this is, um, I don't know, this, this is not gonna work, I don't think. If this was controlling, uh, no, LFO2 controlling global master tune could perhaps, And this is controlling the um, volume. <laughs> and then the speed of this, um, <laughs> the speed of this will be controlled by chaos. So chaos controls LFO2 rate. Let's just. See, so this is chip tune snare drum, yeah. This isn't really doing what I want. <laughs> Sound like a frog yet? Try to find this local Kokoroki guy. I only got their calls. Yeah, this thing's not even long enough. Or right, this is negating the pitch change. I see. So we need to do this. As we do what David said. Do it here as a peak. make this do what I want better. Um. Oh, stream's off screen, sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's not really working out. that for now that's uh that's a frog in the making okay um <laughs> uh, okay so she sent something here we go 
downy tree pecking and calls. Okay. Well, this will be interesting without using a sample. That's not drilling a whole other territory thing, yeah. Which is what we want, I think. Chip. Uh, so if we turn this into this, I mean, it's kind of similar to what I was just trying to do, but why is this? Interesting. Uh, okay, so if this goes LFO to uh, controls global tune. And LFO to controls. low quality recording of that but we'll go for it See, that's not going to work. Of course not. Of course not. Of course not. It's going to have to be more like that. Very lasery. <laughs> yeah, and then you would like need the sound of the tree. like 
phasing going on there. Um, <laughs> so that's going to really show off that our reverb is not sounding like it should. Source is boxy for sure, yeah. Is going to be tough. That's pretty close, but K what? You want a resonance at 4K? How do you get this reverb? There's almost no reverb on that recording. My tail here is too big. Yeah, I'm, I need to probably put a smaller reverb directly on it to simulate the wood, we can try. Like it's tiny. <laughs> oh my god. You're listening on YouTube, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Such a digital. Thing going on. Ew, 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 ew. Yeah, I do have a big EQ spike, although I could do it in the reverb too. If only it, if only it wasn't so. Ew, 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 ew. How do we change that? Is that to do with this? No. Hey, Goose. It's kind of there. Might be the best I can do for now. Um, okay. That reverb is just not going to work. How would you simulate that? How would you get it to sound clean and distant? Does it need to be like a... Um, whatever it's called. IR reverb? Like, what IR reverbs do I have? Can't even remember. Slow sample and hold to randomize amplitude slightly. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Here.
Got everything here except for a... Uh, Pro R does have a clean and distance knob. Yeah, I was tweaking them. Hi, Avon. I don't recognize your name. Nice to see you. Thanks for that. Um, yeah, do they not have any kind of outdoor space here? No. Hmm. Damn. Wet's cheating using a <laughs> no recordings. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's true. Um, we'll go back to this. Actually, no. Let's try to get. Let's try to deal with this like this. Um, oh God. Let's actually put one. directly on here. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to put it like way in the distance. But it's just too perfect. It's too the reverb doesn't like that perfection. What if we put like a shaper box on it? Does this have some kind of preset that can... Yeah. There we go. No, this isn't going to have something I'm looking for. It's just wanting some, like, need a mod matrix. Yeah. I mean, we can do it. I was just hoping to find some, like, really simple, just click it and it's good thing. But subtle and gentle. How about that? Oh, it's just going to be, like, distortion and stuff. Analog warmth vibes. Uh, glitch, no. What does FSU mean? RC20 wobble, yeah, I was considering that. Tape effect, noise. to put it before the thing. RC20. Just kind of like phases it. Or uh, flanges it. Stereo peckers. <laughs> it's just so metallic. <laughs> I don't know. I never had to do this before, so I don't I don't understand how to make it happen. I need Fiffle or something to help me, someone who has, like, like fully sound design experience. I don't know. I just don't know. 
Let's try to do some arranging of this here. I need to get a hatchy, but I would need to hear the sound. If you can find a video of that. Alright, so let's put you over here. Get some more randomization on this uh, song. Dual pan. How do you make that thing sound way more distant without just being destroyed? Chickadee would be good too, that's gonna be hard to do. Dual pan.
can only find Leslie's one. Okay. Oh man, she's really chatty. Hey, Lentil! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Lentil. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a fun one to do. Meeps are good too. You my lentil? No, this is a nut hatch, a little bird. <laughs> right here. We must. I need like a cleaner meep sound though. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. She's adorable. You done, girl? Here. Come right here. I don't know, that one in the background that was not a nut hash. Need, need that probably. Something to, something to that effect. She lives near a jungle. Yeah. <laughs> here's a here's a subtle more regular meep. Okay. So nasally. That's like more in the in the nasally. Realm, but it's very ugly the way it's being. It's a great video of a nut hatch, wow. Scoops up. It's Leslie's two, yeah. So we'll say note on random does slight pitch variation. Not even that much. Sounds good, except that this, uh, the, uh, using the FM somehow is like, I don't know what to say. It sounds like it's uh, um, compressed, like digitally compressed, like it's, you know what I mean? Missing proper high end. But it is somewhat close. And then um, we could say note on random two. 
controls, oscillator A's, warp both directions by a tiny amount. That's tough. Turns into a mosquito, yeah. Okay, if we just put some white noise on top, perhaps can maybe like mask that ugly quality. Not really. <laughs> kind of doesn't really drop in pitch that much at the end, so I think we need to say this is going to be envelope 2 instead. Yeah, slower attack. Wait, what? Ah. <laughs> yeah, I understand, Steve. And hi. It's still so perfect, this sound. I don't know about that.
But I might just have to go with that to move on. Maybe we can EQ it a bit. That's what you're talking about, Vincent. Duel it up. And then maybe just like a subtle Mapman Parlet Max. I swear I'm sitting out here my lawn hearing the same bird is responding to the call coming out of the laptop. Oh yeah. Uh, is that you, Mark? Are you, you're actually on the island hearing the same bird probably. <laughs> um, okay, so let's say once more that note on random causes some kind of volume, oops, some sort of amplitude change. Okay, David. Did they ever go that fast? I don't know. Slight pitch bend up or down gives a nice variation, yeah. Actually, we'd we'll be talking over the others, yeah. What if I put, um, they meet for long periods, yeah, that's true. Uh, what if I put RC20 on here? Yeah, it's, I'm changing the attack there. Oh yeah, Megan did talk to him, that's for sure. Too much variation in that attack now.
Yeah, I can't remember what they do. <laughs> this is seeming pretty random. Um, let's try another pass of this hatchy. Are they like Or you think faster than that? It, uh, you're a tired hatchy. <laughs> Think they go faster than that? I can't remember. Too much wobble. Where's the, oh, the retro color's doing the wobble. Yeah, I can't remember. I'd have to hear it again. This one is... At this pace. I mean, they go sometimes. <laughs> they do that. <laughs> so, why don't we um, duplicate this and this hatchy can be on the other side. Donk, 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 donk. Okay. And there was some other just like high pitch. It was in the previous video. Oh man, she's really chatty. Hey, Lancel. <laughs> oh. Probably won't have time to figure that one out today. <laughs> but. Oh, Lancel. She's adorable. There's these like really high pitch birds in the background um, that maybe is pretty simple. That sort of thing. So 
So if we just maybe start with a real quick pitch bend, LFO1, global, master tune, master pitch it like way up. Sorry if that sounds terrible. Maybe we can get rid of the fundamental. Hey. Um, nature sounds here freezes volume one. <laughs> So if we get uh, a very subtle pitch variation, subtle length variation, LFO1 rate can go higher. No, it can go lower. That's not bad. The reverb just can't deal with that at all. Okay, and then I don't even know what this is. It's just a tweeter. And then we're gonna duplicate the tweeter and do a second pass. This tweeter is maybe sitting over here. This tweeter is maybe over here. What's another sort of like backgroundy sound that I can just put in quickly? Maybe like a creak. I can try to make. 
I feel like it needs more happening. I've, you know, I've got like five birds. <laughs> this seemingly gigantic forest with massive reverb. I wish I could have gotten the frog. Probably the frog chorus would have been possible, but too late now, probably. Oh yeah, low sound, like the owl would have been nice. Um, I've, in the past I've made a somewhat of a creak sound, maybe. Uh, I've got the white noise there in the background, if uh, you can't tell. That is my, that's supposed to be my wind anyway, this sound. Perhaps that's too quiet. Anyway, um, insects, yeah. We have these ones outside that sound like electrical something. Um, I think I did do like a water sound for, yeah, this. <laughs> okay, maybe it's not quite what we're looking for. It's a little bit too. There's some ASMR for you, holy moly. <laughs> Not quite uh, what we're looking for.
It's like the bubbling is just so fast. It's just not really sounding super realistic. If we cut. Hey, Dissonatus. I'm extremely impressed by the stream. Oh, well, that's great, Bunsen. I'm glad. A much slower LFO with random curves. It's not the LFO that's doing it. It's the rate in the chorus, I think, and the phaser. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of there, kind of not. All right, let's hear it in context. When it's quiet though, it does work. Yeah, I agree, perfunctory. That's what I just realized, and I turned down on the uh, on the woodpecker. Yeah, if I had some more time for tweaking, I could get it going pretty good. Just put the owl in. Yeah, I feel like the owl is really going to be what we're looking for.
<laughs> she doesn't even have to leave the house anyway. <laughs> we just open the windows. Although these days it doesn't sound like this right now for whatever reason, but it did. <laughs> okay, then we'll just get like a fade out. I'll make a melody with that, yeah, right. We're we're pretty rural, I guess you could say. Fade outs are really natural. It's more na more natural than just everything stopping suddenly, I think. Yeah, you should, David. Okay. Yeah, this stream is still like too fast and it's fluttering, but whatever. I have no idea how to volume balance this. Like, is this... <laughs> is this an appropriate volume? Sounds good, but... But I mean, is this comparable to anything else? Is this comparable to like music or even spoken word? Or is this like super quiet? Sounds good to you. But, but it sounds good because we've just been hearing it constantly. We're not hearing anything else, right? We kind of have to hear something in, uh, in contrast. Like here's that YouTube video. Oh yeah, the mix sounds balanced, but I mean the overall volume. Everybody else's, I don't know how they've gonna how they will have balanced theirs. So I'm just curious about how loud to make this. I had a sad violin. So we'll leave, we'll leave it there for now, and then we'll listen, and I'll make an adjustment. Yeah, I don't know if I trust uh, Leslie with her audio skills. <laughs> I feel ours will be all over the place. Yeah, me too. All right, cool. Well, that was fun. Um, yeah, I think the owl, like very occasionally, like once every 30 seconds or something would be the, the whatever the good thing is that you had to stuff cherry on top or whatnot. <laughs> it is Leslie. That's what I compared it to, Leslie's YouTube video. You can have a quiet YouTube video, as we know. Uh, okay, so... Great, that was fun. Sidechain the frog, I don't have any frogs. Unfortunately, I had to abandon that. Uh, all right, so here we go. We've got 10 tracks today. 
So if you're new here, by the way, these tracks come from people who are in the chat, who are in the community, the Discord community, Sonic Sorcery. You can get a link for that in the description, in the description of this video. And then you can participate in these challenges, which we will have a new one tomorrow. Yep. All right, so let's go in reverse order this time because I think we did it in uh, forward order last time. So uh, starting with Zaibu. So it's called a typical day. I'm not sure what that means, if that means at, at your house or on earth or, you know, on the top of Mount Everest. But we'll see. Here we go, Zaibu. Let's check it out. That was great. <laughs> Love the jumping in the water. Great way to get some more variety out of that. I don't know what the big sound was. Was that a boat that you were on or something? I, I understand there was like a fog horn, but then it just <laughs> thunder maybe. Anyway, that was great, Zaibu. Nice work. Now we got Vincenta with Tidbit Nipply. <laughs> All right, here we go. Wow, nice work. Very detailed wind sound. Nice layering too. Great vibe. Now, Truffle with the Grotty Grotto. The Grotty Grotto.
that's super cool. I don't know what to make of that. I don't know what that was exactly. I mean, I get it's the grotty grotto, but I've never been in a situation that sounded like that. That's for sure. Wow. Nice work, Truffle. Now, Red Sun with uh, Grandmother Earth. <laughs> wow, great work. Nice birds. Really good birds there. Very bassy vibe. Damn, and the rain. That was awesome. Okay, now we got David, pale skinny Swede David with spaceship interior, stepping out on a limb here to some nature. <laughs> it was very cool. <laughs> it was not nature at all, but it was very cool. I've been watching a lot of Star Trek lately, so it's, I know the vibe. Uh, now we got Nargon with Proto Mouse. Wow. <laughs> he got heated, yeah. I'm going to need an explanation on that one, I think. I'm not quite sure what to make of that. Heard some wind, I know that much. Um, wow, nice one, Naragon. Now we got Dissonatus with Nothing But The Rain.
some serious rain holy moly nice sounds too that wolf or owl perhaps i'm not sure i'm gonna go with a wolf very cool now dj with a storm is coming we just got out of a storm come time to go back in It's definitely a cool track. <laughs> definitely as far from the challenge as, as possible. I mean, not as possible, but it's getting there. I think I got some, uh, there's some quote in the in the challenge prompt, something to the effect of like, definitely not music. I think it was something like, I wrote something to that effect. So yeah, what can I say? It was cool, <laughs> cool though. <laughs> now we got Chris with, uh, Chris Cummins with Walking in the Rain is the last one. <laughs> All massive X, no audio, it says. Okay. Damn, that was really good, Chris. For someone that doesn't do synth programming, as far as I know, I'm curious how you did all that, all the rain and the and the birds and all that. That was really, really good for, for a first at go, unless I'm misunderstanding how you did that or your, your amount of experience with it. Here's mine from the top. I need to turn mine up after all that. That one was loud.
Yeah. Other than the, the creak, it's quite similar to some of the sound soundscapes we get around the house here, which is what was the intention. It's pretty close. Need to add Zen music to this. Yeah, right. That'd help. Chris says, Chris says, I started with presets and tweaked them. Okay. Makes a bit more sense. <laughs> Not, not to say I'm doubting you, Chris, but from your own admission, you seem to say that, you know, maybe you wouldn't know how to do it. And then I thought, this is really good sounds you got here. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, that was fun. Thanks, everybody. Um, so we're going to have a new challenge tomorrow, which will be cool. That's going to be the summer wizard theme tomorrow. So if uh, anybody hasn't participated in one of those before, we have a given theme that we need to turn into a summer version for the for the um, what would you say? <laughs> the only word that's going to mind is mascot. <laughs> mascot of the server, the wizard, uh, the sonic sorcerer. Uh, anyway, if you want to participate in that, you can join the Discord, and there's a link in the description, and we're going to have a challenge for that starting tomorrow, making a summer version of that theme, which will be nice. I'm looking forward to hearing what everybody does with that. And uh, yeah, I think that's it for now. So nice to see everybody. I will uh, play a tune completely different as we're leaving here. Feel free to go if you've got to. This I just was reminded of this completely randomly because um, of doing the some of the bird sounds. Maybe think of this um, song that I started years ago that has this, I don't know, droid robot sounding thing in the beginning of it. And it's kind of fun, so it's... Com- <laughs> completely different vibe, but you might enjoy it. So we'll, we'll take a quick listen to that before we go today. I just got to think, where would it be? Where would it be? What do I even call it? Hmm. Yeah, this will be fun. I've heard this track in a while. Um, <laughs> I got a bunch of cool challenge ideas coming up too that I'm almost considering doing them doing challenges every week again for a while because um, there's just so many good ideas to do <laughs> and take so long otherwise. No track database yet. <laughs> Not for this one. <laughs> nope. Nope, nope, nope. Where would I put that? Where would I put that? <laughs> yeah, Yoni, you missed everything. I was curious what, what your track was. Like, can you explain it? What, what does proto mouse mean? Oh, gosh, I cannot remember the name of this thing. It's driving me crazy. What is it called? Well, maybe it's this. Maybe it's this. You're on Bye Bye Weekly already. (laughs) Music Man, hello and welcome, by the way. I noticed you came in earlier. Might submit to, it'll be like my fourth track, or my second finished track. Great, that'd be awesome. Uh, here's the song I'm thinking of. Like I say, this is some kind of almost like grimy, dubstepy thing, but it has this funny droid sound in the beginning that I was thinking of with birds. <laughs>
Yeah, it's pretty cool. I haven't heard that in a long time. I got to finish that. But it was probably made on Digital Performer before I switched to uh, Studio One. So I don't even know if I have access to the session anymore. It might just be done. <laughs> Um, yeah, glad you guys like it. And that's that. A solo would be great. Okay, a solo I can add to that without having the session. That's true. That would be pretty cool. Um, all right. Gonna see you guys soon in the Discord. A uh, new challenge starts tomorrow. I'll post the details tomorrow. And hopefully this week we can get back to having a work in progress feedback session on Thursday. I know I've been off the ball with that. So, sorry. <laughs> Anyway, hey, thanks, Omari. Likewise, I'm, you know, I'm a big fan of Journey music, so. Um, okay, talk to you all soon. Appreciate you. Have a good rest of your day wherever you are, and looking forward to hearing all the next challenge entries. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>